lot of times I write the tasting notes in the bags, or I participate in editing them. So this one has aromas of cocoa, cinnamon, hazelnut, flavors of black tea. Sometimes we'll spend three or four hours drinking one coffee and sitting there and like debating it. So we let it bloom, and the bloom is just the initial contact with the hot water, and it'll release all those gases from the solubles in the beans, and that's what releases all the flavors that you taste when you drink the coffee. So we let that sit for about 30 seconds, and we don't want to stir the grinds, but we want to break the crust. So we're just going to move it out of the way, and I'm going to lean in for a, a closer smell here. We'll smell some different things on a lot of the coffees than we did initially after that crust breaks. The tasting notes you see on our bags take literally hours of time because we just, we give a shit, you know? I launched the company here in New York, raised a little money from a friend who owns a really great little cafe called Everyman Espresso. And I went to him and I said, hey, I have this idea for a website that sells coffee. And he got really excited and said, we've been talking about this for years, but we don't know anything about the internet. And I had just built this farmer's market guide that the New York Times had written about. And he said, but I saw that article and you know about the internet. So how about if I pay your rent and you can try to build this thing? It was a tiny little bit of money, just enough to pay my rent for a few months. And I built Craft Coffee and launched it. And it didn't work. It was a huge failure. I went into this cafe he owns. I sat with my MacBook in front of the counter and everyone would come up and say, I can make that coffee free if you'll sit with me for 10 minutes and give me feedback on my website. And I sat and did these sort of lean startup style surveys and asked people what they thought and just sort of standard stuff about user experience. Overwhelmingly, 90% of the people that I talked to said that they loved the idea that there was something more about their everyday coffee, that it could be more like wine, but just like with wine, they felt intimidated and they needed more guidance. And so I said, well, what if we curate these coffees for you? And they said, that would be awesome. They said they want it to be more convenient. I said, well, what if we send it to you every month, whenever you want? And they said, that would be great. We ship all over the world right now. All over Europe, in Australia, Japan, Mexico, a couple African countries, 28 international destinations that we ship to, and we're looking to expand that here. They also looked at the site that I had and they said, well, you've got all these like Ethiopian coffees, but I just can't tell the difference. But if you sent me smaller packages, like samples, then I could try it and see what I like. And so those are the three components and the feedback that led to the craft coffee product being the way that it is.